the four horsemen of apocalypse are figures in the book of revelation in the new testament of the bible they are not specifically identified but subsequent commentary often identifies them as personifications of death famine war and conquest revelation 6 tells us of a book or scroll in god's right hand that is sealed with seven seals the lamb of god or lion of judah opens the first four of the seven seals which summons four beings that ride out on white red black and pale horses christianity sometimes interprets the four horsemen as a vision of harbingers of the last judgment setting a divine end time upon the world hit the subscribe button and help us reach a thousand subs let's get started Then I saw when the lamb broke one of the seven seals and I heard one of the four living creatures saying as with a voice of thunder come I looked and behold a white horse and he who sat on it had a bow and a crown was given to him and he went out conquering and to conquer in the new testament the book of mark indicates that the advance of the gospel may precede and foretell the apocalypse. The color white also tends to represent righteousness in the Bible, and Christ is portrayed as a conqueror in other instances. Besides Christ, the horseman could represent the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was understood to have come upon the apostles at Pentecost after Jesus departed earth. The appearance of the lion in Revelation 5 shows the triumphant arrival of Jesus in heaven and the first horseman may represent the sending of Holy Spirit by Jesus and the advance of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In 1866, Zimpel defended the hypothesis that the first horseman was Antichrist, and more precisely, according to him, Napoleon Bonaparte. The Antichrist interpretation later found other believers in the United States, such as R. F. Franklin in 1898 and W. C. Stevens in 1928. It remains popular in evangelical circles today, for example, with Pastor Billy Graham, for whom the horsemen represented the Antichrist or false prophets in general. Under another interpretation, the first horseman is called pestilence and is associated with infectious disease and plague. It appears at least as early as 1906. This particular interpretation is common in popular culture references to the four horsemen. The origin of this interpretation is unclear. Some translations of the Bible, like in the New International Version, mentions plague or pestilence in the Revised Standard Version in connection with the riders in the passage following the introduction of the fourth rider. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. However, the original Greek does not use the word for plague or pestilence. The use of pestilence was likely drawn from other parts of the book of Revelation and included here as another form of death. When he broke the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come, and another, a red horse, went out. And to him who sat on it, it was granted to take peace from earth, and that men would slay one another, and a great sword was given to him. The rider of the second horse is often taken to represent war. His horse's color is red, and in some translation, the color is specifically a fiery red. The color red, as well as the rider's possession of a great sword, suggests blood that is to be spilled. As seen in heraldry, the sword held upward by the second horseman may represent war or declaration of war. In military symbolism, swords held upward, especially crossed swords held upward, signify war and entering into battle. According to Edward Bishop Elliot's interpretation of the four horsemen as a symbolic prophecy of the history of the Roman Empire, the second seal is open and the Roman nation that experienced joy, prosperity, and triumph is made subject to the red horse which depicts war and bloodshed. Eliot further recites that after the death of Commodus, a most turbulent period, lasting 92 years, unfolded. 
during which time 32 emperors and 27 pretenders to the empire hurled each other from the throne by incessant civil war. The sword was a natural universal badge among the Romans of the military possession. The apocalyptic figure, armed with a great sword, indicated an undue authority and unnatural use of it. When he broke the third seal, I heard the third living creature saying, Come, I look and behold a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard something like a voice in the center of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, but do not damage the oil and the wine. The third horseman rides a black horse and is popularly understood to be famine, as the horseman carries a pair of balances or weighing scales, indicating the way that bread would have been weighed during a time of famine. Other authors interpret the third horseman as a lawgiver, holding scales of justice. In the passage, it is read that the indicated price of grain is about ten times normal, thus raising the popularity of the famine interpretation. With an entire day wage, denarius, buying enough wheat for only one person, or enough of the less nutritious barley for three, so that workers would struggle to feed their families. In the Gospels, denarius is repeatedly mentioned as a monetary unit. For example, the denarius was the pay of a soldier for one day, and the day labor of a seasonal worker in the harvesting of grapes is also valued as denarius. Of the four horsemen, the black horse and its rider are the only ones whose appearance is accompanied by vocalization. John hears a voice, unidentified but coming from among the four living creatures that speaks of the price of wheat and barley, saying, And see thou hard not the oil and the wine. This suggests that the black horse's famine is to drive up the price of grain but leave oil and wine supplies unaffected. One explanation is that grain crops would have been more naturally susceptible to famine than olive trees and grapevines, which root more deeply. When the lamb broke the fourth seal, I heard a voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come, I look and behold an ashen horse, and he who sat on it had the name Death, and Hades was following with him. Authority was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword and with famine and with pestilence and by the wild beasts of the earth. The fourth and final horseman is named Death. Of all the riders, he is the only one to whom the text itself explicitly gives a name. Unlike the other three, he is not described as carrying a weapon or other objects. Instead, he is followed by Hades, the resting place of the dead. The color of death's horse is written as Floros in the original Greek, which can mean either green or greenish yellow or pale. The color is often translated as pale. Though ashen, pale green, and yellowish green are other possible interpretations, the verse beginning with they were given power over a fourth of the earth is generally taken as referring to death and Hades, although some commentators see it as applying to all four horsemen. One interpretation of the coming of this fourth pale horse was the personification of death with Hades following him, jaws open and receiving the victims slain by death. Death's commission was to kill upon the Roman earth with all of the four judgments of God, with sword, famine, pestilence, and wild beasts. Edward Gibbon speaks of a period from the celebration of the great secular games by the Emperor Philip to the death of Galenius as the twenty years of shame and misfortune, of confusion and calamity, as a time when the ruined empire approached the last and fatal moment of its dissolution. Every instant of time in every province of the Roman world was afflicted by military tyrants and barbarous invaders, the sword from within and without. These were the four horsemen of the apocalypse and some of their interpretations by different people. There are many other interpretations as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe and hit the like button. Also watch some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.